אם אנחנו כולנו, כל From our filthy will to receive that knows nothing but depends on what's in it and what it wants what it feels meaning that it lacks meaning the lowliest despicable this aspect weakest depends on everything is capable of nothing by itself because has no strength to do anything only to expect fulfillment if all of us are made of this matter then we have nothing left than to understand that our advancement, our salvation coming out of this place from the state can be only through connection with a foreign force. The foreign force is the force of bestowal, the force of love, the force of connection, the force of unity, which is opposite us. We have no connection to it. We can't uh, draw it, attract it, meaning we are lost. In our current state, in our nature, we are lost. So here, there are two options. Either we exist whereby nature is managing us as much as it gives us. We, we immediately take, use it, we feel some liveliness, livelihood in it, a degree of life in it. Maybe we can develop a demand, a request, that, so that this second nature that has the fulfillment for our desires will will work on us work of the Creator and then we'll be able to come out of our desperate state where we depend only on what we're being sent for our fulfillment rather we can perhaps in a gradual way learn how to advance to a different state. Come out from what we don't understand, we don't feel. We feel only dependency, whatever might happen. Advance and come out to a different state. We worry about only rising above this dependency, this uh, lowly feeling. Uh, it's the lowest state, the worst state, the most despicable state. Or I feel none of what's happening to me in my mind, in my heart, what will happen to me, and what I can change myself, my destiny, my fate. And here the wisdom of Kabbalah comes. The wisdom of 
how we can fulfill our deepest desires not directly because from my will to receive I want only to fill it to quiet it to put it to death that it won't, would want nothing that it would be full rather this wisdom explains to a person in what way should yearn for fulfillment for change how to come to understand his state where he is which forces of nature is he dealing with and the main thing is how to use his desire his deficiency because that's all he has how to use it in the correct way it's true that his desire is only to feel good whatever seems good to him right now so this method teaches us how to critically analyze the desire and by what to manage it change it so it would not be addicted to, influenced by his desire alone, like the still vegetative inanimate, where the desire governs them without uh, their participation. Rather here, a person was given the ability, the opportunity to put together the system, system, control system, uh, a change, a system of change, um, a comparative system that allows it to compare the desired and the present. So together with feeling it, well, his will to receive and even more and more, together with that, <coughs> he is in the system that builds it environment. Uh, let's it acquire forces that are opposite to himself, to his will to receive. And these forces will help him be in full in, in an equilibrium to compare the desired and the present what's worthwhile and what I want to opposite systems of course in the beginning a person doesn't want it it's like a child that is being taught um, s critical thinking, uh, self-criticism, that you have to check and think, maybe this is yes, maybe this is no, and not follow the, just the inner impulses, not to play with, the, any, with everyone, with anyone, not to do what you feel like doing right away. Rather, be in the... In, in a critical view of the situation, comparing the states, the desired and the present state. Of course we don't want it, because it means rising above my reason. Is being opposite myself, be to do self-criticism, to criticize myself, not to agree with myself, but seemingly to be with the reason and the feeling of someone that's opposite to me, that's standing bef ahead of, before me and is talking about me wrong, you know, wrongly, badly. We don't want to hear, we, we don't want to talk about it, we don't want to agree to it. Subconsciously, we constantly reject those things. So, the wisdom of Kabbalah brings us to this concept of prayer. 
Nothing can be attained in the correction of a person except through prayer. It means that he forcefully connect, connects to the force that opposes him and asks to acquire this force that's opposite to him, so that these two forces will exist in him as two lines. And these two lines will help build from the two of them, the middle line, as much as it can for the time being to be between the desired state and the present state and to advance most importantly upwards ever upwards from its nature this is called to be more and more in faith above reason so the more we can concentrate, assemble, concentrate all of our forces in us, all the qualities, all our abilities, all of them are necessary and are needed to accomplish this plea to the upper force, the force that works against us. And ultimately we have to come to it in order to reach the upper force, this opposite form, the one that's against me. I can't do it by myself. It's a law. That if our qualities, my qualities of the egoist, and he is opposite me. I don't even know what is that opposite form, but if we are opposite, we feel it. We don't think about one another. Seemingly, I'm not talking about him, but let's say this is the case. We don't feel one another. We, we don't think about one another. We can't do anything similar to one another in any sh way, shape, or form, when in whatever the, the, the work area, the, therefore there's a need to build a system which is called a broken desire, the shattered desire, where our desire, our opposite egoistic desire will be shattered. What does it mean, shattered? It will be in such a state where, although he's an egoist, he will feel the need for connecting with the others. We see it among uh, little, little children. As long as they're babies, they don't see one another. They can't, they can't play together. You tell a little child, give him what, what you have. He doesn't understand it. He doesn't grasp it. Slowly, gradually, uh, a few years go by, at the age of three, four, or five, then it's all about playing with one another. They feel that the desire to receive enriches itself through these games. That's why we need the broken vessel. So, reluctantly, we will learn, like little kids, that we must be in connection with one another. That's why there's such a commandment from nature, go and profit from one another. And then we are building a family, a society, the people, the nation, the world. The more advanced we are, this advancement comes by greater connection until this advancement begins to eat itself, like today, because the ego 
שהוא מרוויח בחיבור. הוא הגיע ל... You can't see any profit and connection. It came to the biggest, the highest state in connection, where you cannot enjoy connection any longer, and then it surrenders. There's nowhere, nowhere to go. This is the crisis that we're experiencing now. Also in our uh, personal lives, what else can we do? It doesn't matter where I live, but I see it according to the young generation that doesn't really have where to go, what to do, what, with what will it fill itself, uh, what forms of connection should it have with others. It has no need for it. He has a tiny device in his hand and that's all he needs. Meaning we're coming to a state where the connection that brings us to this game of connection doesn't work, stops working. And what is the wisdom of Kabbalah tell us when it speaks about the state of the shattered will to receive into many, many pieces? And then what is the need for that shattering? So it says the need is not so for, for these parts to connect so each one could profit off of the other. This is certainly a dead end. It's a path that brings one to, to a wall, to a block. Rather, the connection with one another should be certainly the way we are going through it, but later through recognition of evil. Because we see that we cannot ameliorate our state, rather we have to be connected in such a way that we take into consideration the system that has to be, that existed before the shattering and that we need to resurrect it and reach the correction of the shattering. Hence, all of our work is to understand the situation and to come to know the force through which we can return the system to a corrected state, the corrected form. And all of this is achieved by the prayer, the request. When we begin to recognize the evil of our nature, and we have no choice except uh, to, to perform one action, which is connection. And this connection can be done only by a request for the force of connection. And if we're talking from within the recognition of evil in our nature and recognizing the good in that whole system that exists but uh, feels broken only with respect to us then the gap between these two systems are is exactly the gap between the creator and the creature then the Kabbalists explain to us that in order to turn to and ask for the force of correction, we need to start building by ourselves the small corrected system. And from it, it will be clear what we have to ask, who are we, and so on and so forth. Meaning, we come to a small group, specifically a small group, a ten, not more nor less. And from within it, 
we can see what are we lacking in order to be united, unified as one. As one doesn't mean that we're cancelling ourselves, rather we complement each other, each one complements the others by feeling their deficiency then making a calculation how can I add how can I add how can I help them and in this way each 10 is working and to the extent that they manage to close that puzzle between them they can feel how the force of connection is working in them and in the force of connection they begin to feel the essence of life the essence of connection called to feel the creator boy come and see so we're interested in bringing ourselves to the feeling of the ten the deficiency that we can uh, discover in the ten and how much strength we need in order to feel that we are truly ten, not one or two or five, but ten. And then inside this tendency, we'll begin to feel also a yearning for the uh, general force, the force of our connection called Creator. He is called Creator. Unifying force, uh, filling force, the sustaining force. That's how we come to Him. So the fact that we are now going through these different states, broken, we don't know exactly how to connect them together. Where is this image, or at least, where is he, you know, where could he taste ten pieces of this puzzle? that we now need to reconnect, at least see them. And what exactly are we different? Where can we not connect, not unite us even a, a little bit to bring ourselves closer to connection? That's what we need right now. What we need to locate in this system. This is called the European Congress. The states we are going through are extremely important because um, certainly this tendency, the, this effort brings us great corrections. It is really the most important thing because all the forces are up above and all the requests down below in our hands. So we will never receive anything before we want it, truly want it, according to quality and quantity, and then, uh, and then uh, it will be as it's written and his seed shall be blessed. And that's how we should advance. So, we are learning the excerpts ahead of the coming Congress, how to unify ourselves, how, what are we missing, so on and so forth, but it's all, it all must be connected in our large ten. We are, when we are preparing the request. And we are only thinking of that. And how 
together with the fans in connection between us in a common cry called and the children of Israel side from the work and their groan rose to the Creator to be now to the force of bestow so in truth this cry will reach the uh, the honorable throne, the connection between Malchut and Bina, the, the Kisui, the coverage, the concealment when Bina conceals the Chokhmah and from this life, from the Zivug, Absag, the Chokhmah and Bina, we will receive or acquire a force that will help us be connected and also demand correctly and to receive the mud. And in that to be connected to a form called the vessel of the Shina. And in this way, we will come to a zivug between us, uh, the upper lies, a uh, light. Uh, uh, we are the Shina, he is the Shochen, the dweller, and we come to the complete zivug, the coupling that signifies to us the end of Sukkot and the giving of the Torah. So, the right time, the right place, the right connection. We just need to put in a few extra efforts and believe that even though we are far from our goal according to what we've been through, in this entire state, where we understand that it must be very exalted. But it doesn't matter. It's like a little child. He cries and, and demands. He doesn't even know that well, but it feels like it. We should be the same thing. And we will receive. Uh, in this way, we should go through each and every moment in our preparation for the Congress and in the Congress. Questions?